Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In our previous video, we talked about the Vite Fork, which is a custom version of Unreal Engine 5 focused on achieving a base performance boost of up to 2.5 times real game FPS versus Unreal Engine 5.7's feature set. Essentially, this custom UE5 fork is based off the NVRTX GI branch of Unreal Engine that is used for popular games like the Finals and Arc Raiders to achieve good visuals with great performance. Now, over the past month since I've made my original video about the Vite Fork, a lot of you guys have shown major interest in this and there have been tons of updates and changes including the fact that they've actually switched from using a Unreal Engine 5.0 base to now a Unreal Engine 4.27 base for their custom fork. So in this video we're going to talk about all the different changes and updates everything you need to know and if you guys are new here to the channel my name is Smart Polly. I make all sorts of Unreal Engine news and content and if you are interested in learning Unreal Engine for game development I have some exciting news. My Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course bundle now has a 25% off limited time sale to commemorate the launch of Unreal Engine 5.7. We're having a special 25% off discount. So use code Unreal 57 at checkout when you purchase the survival game course bundle. Get access to over a hundred hours of learning content between both courses included in the single bundle and kickstart your game development journey today. So check it out link in the description below or head over to my website smartpoly.teachable.com to learn more. And with all that out of the way let's get right into the video. Okay so here we are on the GitHub page and in the previous video I kind of covered over how to actually access this but you actually need to log into your github account which is linked to your epic games account and if you don't you're going to get this 404 so again you'll need to go ahead and link your epic games account to your github account in order to access this page the link is not broken you just need to go ahead and request access to the unreal engine source code so once you go ahead and find this page over here this is the brand new updated uh vite release which is switched to Unreal Engine 4.27. So the previous fork that we covered in the previous video is over here, which is now depreciated. So essentially they've switched from using Unreal Engine 5.0.3 as the base of this custom fork to now using 4.27. And they cover over some of the reasons why they've actually switched. So this is basically like the reason why they transition after spending a good amount of time attempting to fit physics issues such as cloth not working, capsule issues, attempting to go back to float vectors and doing work for tessellation slash SSGI ports, we realized that the necessary changes for this were massive and that the reasons to uh, prefer 4.27 code base outweighed staying on the UE 5.0 base. I performed further tests on the 4.27 launcher versus the Vite using the RTX GI sample demo, and it turns out that the original tests were flawed due to ray trace shadows slash RTAO not being activated in the UE5 version, apparently due to a behavior change with the post-process volume. And after actually matching all the settings correctly, the UE4.27 was beating Vite at a large margin. I also made a test where all the ray tracing features were removed, but only DDGI was on. Even still, 4.27 was still beating Vite by about 350 FPS. So here's the comparison. They had 759 versus 1030. So it revealed that UE5.0 didn't introduce any significant improvement improvements to the DirectX 12 API. We already merged the 4.27 Plus DX12 and NVRTX 4.27 API upgrades, therefore leaving no major reason to keep working on the 5.0 base besides the editor UI design updates. Keep in mind that the plain updates such as things like the tessellation, SSGI, and physics fixes. These things would take a larger amount of time than simply just upgrading the 4.27 code base. So here are a list of objective reasons to rebase Vite to 4.27. They have slower ray tracing scene due to lumen changes, slower math calculation due to doubles and template vector classes. Uh, you know, it just goes on, no tessellation, no blueprint and nativization. Physics in Vite UE5 has a amount of issues due to doubles and chaos lower level optimization. Uh, things like the cloth not working, character movement, component capsules, calculations are off, and the list just goes on. Here's another performance demonstration. They did some tests of the ray trace demo with shadows, ray trace reflections, and ambient inclusion. So in 4.27, they're getting 239 FPS, which is 22% faster with the UE5 Vite which is getting 197 FPS. As it can be seen, it does not only perform worse, but ray trace and occlusion also shows some artifacts. So yeah, you can see sort of like this banding over there. I don't know if you guys can uh, see that in the video if it compresses it, but let me know down in the comments. You can also download this demo if you guys want to check it out over here. It looks like there's a link 
to that. And then they have the RTX GI demo, which only has DDGI. So 4.27 actually maxes out FPS over 1,030. So that's 35 times faster versus UE5 Vite, which is 759 FPS, which is about 300 less FPS. So, I mean, at that point, you're kind of just, you know, FPS maxing out, uh, which I mean, 300 more FPS. You already had like a thousand. So, I mean, at what point do you need more? But, you know, you guys can talk about that in the comments. So, essentially, here, here are all the plans that they have uh, laid out. Plan is straightforward. UE5 Vite is now based on the NVRTX Caustics branch, which uh, we didn't really talk about this much. But if we scroll down here on uh, the GitHub page, this has some of the enhanced features like the Caustics, which are these light shimmers that are created by, you know, glass and water. So you can see like these light rays over here and these different types of refractions. So this is essentially what you can do with caustics and they have all these demos you can check out, but this is based off of the RTX uh, 4.27 branch, which has the real time caustics. So here is a swimming pool scene with one directional light demonstrating water caustics. So we might actually check out some of these demos here. So these are some of like the additional features uh, and also some additional sample maps. So there's abandoned apartment, which it has the ray trace GI and this attic scene as well. And also they've done some other other tests with the UE4 Vite Fork on the Steam Deck and it's averaging around 115 FPS and their new demo scene on the Steam Deck and they've actually gone ahead and increased the graphic fidelity on the demo so you can see like the shadows the lighting is a lot better than if you compare it to the UE5 demo yeah, I'll show you guys some of the footage of that here on the screen and if you guys want to test out any of these demos you can download it down in the comments down below and here's a list of actually all the current features so the release branch of this fork currently brings the following physics 3.4 integrated all 4.27 plus changes. So if you don't know what they're talking about here, uh, 4.27 is like the last Unreal Engine 4 version uh, that came out. And essentially they made a plus version where they updated, they kept updating the 4.27 branch as far as I know, including more future updates. And so that's why they had a 4.27 plus to include all those different changes. And so they've essentially integrated all those changes into this uh, fork as far as I know, right? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but that's essentially what I understand. And they have the NVRTX 4.27, which has, you know, the ray trace GI and also some changes in 5.0. They have DLL SS3, uh, Tress Effects and AMD patches, backport changes from 5.0 to 5.3, uh, Callisto BRDF. They have the full latest MSVC compiler compliance for the highest compiler performance and compatibility, updated DLSS3 support. They have some editor quality of life backports and they've added and adapted plugins bundled with the engine, FSR, motion matching, Houdini, ASL, Kawhi physics, several rendering optimizations for ray trace direct lighting, shader improvements. Uh, let's see, they have other things like optimized runtimes for skeletal meshes and actors, uh, project default plugin debloat. So just general more improvements and here I think they have just some of the updates that they've been working on uh, through the different weeks. But yeah, those are all the major different changes and updates to this to this custom UE fork. So I'm interested to know your guys' thoughts on this down in the comments down below. Are some of you guys still interested in this fork uh, despite the fact that they've, you know, switched to a UE 4.27 base? Would you guys be interested in things like tutorials or additional videos about this? Let me know down in the comments down below. And that's pretty much it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.